हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो आई होप यू आर फाइन इन बेस्ट ऑफ योर हेल्थ एंड आल्सो एंजॉइंग योर स्टडीज एट द मोमेंट सो वी आर हियर वंस अगेन विद अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑन लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म आई होप यू ऑलरेडी हैव विजिटेड माय प्लेलिस्ट ऑन लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म वेयर आई हैव सॉल्वड मल्टीपल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन द आईडिया ऑफ लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म यूजिंग मोस्टली द प्रॉपर्टीज ओके सो what is uh, the basic uh, step which we use we always start from the rightmost part keep uh, applying properties and we eventually reach what we require okay so using some formulas and mostly properties we do that so let's do that once again first step what is the innermost thing which you see that is sin t okay so you already know that uh, the laplace of sin at laplace transform of sin at is given by a divided by s square plus a square so let's find that first so laplace transform of sin t so here a is 1 so you will get 1 divided by 1 square plus s 1 divided by s square plus 1 square so that is 1 divided by s square plus 1 next what you will do that depends on you either you want to apply first shift what first shift says so if you have laplace of f of t which comes out to be f bar s then first shift says that if you are multiplying by e power at and then taking the laplace transform so then that will be equal to just replace s by s minus a okay. you don't need to apply definition again just replace s by s minus a and uh, the second one which i am talking about if you are dividing your f of t by 1t only not t square just by 1t then that can be evaluated by integral from s to infinity whatever you got in the previous step so let's say i got f bar s in the previous step so this Now it's completely your choice, but I would recommend that because you always want simpler integral to solve, so don't apply first shift first and then division by t because first shift will uh, make your function one upon s plus one whole square plus one, and integrating that will be a bit difficult, not much difficult, but a bit difficult. so what i prefer generally is to first find laplace of sin t divided by t that i already know will be integral from s to infinity of whatever was the laplace transform of sin t because sin t i am dividing by t so i will focus on sin t so that will become my integrand so 1 upon s square plus 1 One I can again write as one square. So one upon x square plus a square is one by a tan inverse x by a, or directly the integral of uh, one upon one plus x square is tan inverse x. So you will get tan inverse s from uh, s to infinity. So this will give you tan inverse. Infinity minus tan inverse s. Tan inverse infinity. You know, ever since your childhood, that becomes pi by two. Minus tan inverse s. Now, if you want even simpler, then use this property that tan inverse x plus cot inverse x. is nothing but pi by 2 so from there you can write pi by 2 minus tan inverse x s as cot inverse 
what's next next obviously i have to apply the first shift so laplace of e power minus t so in place of a you can see minus 1 is now there sin t by t so i already know what is the laplace transform sin t by t that came out to be cot inverse s so that will be my f bar s in this case and i have to just in that function which is cot inverse s i just have to replace uh s by s minus a and a here being minus 1 so s by s plus 1 so cot inverse s plus 1 is what i will get next what they demand they want us to integrate from 0 to t so if we are integrating once from 0 to t and then taking laplace transform so simple funda is there just divide by s 1s if you are integrating once from 0 to t divide by 1s of whatever laplace transform you got for f of t if you are integrating in twice divide by s square if you are integrating in thrice divide by s cube so because i am integrating it uh, just once so laplace of integral 0 to t and uh, what i have uh, e power minus t sin t by t and then taking laplace so what i have to do uh, sorry just divide by one is okay so cot inverse s plus 1 divided by s fine what's next next they are saying that you have to multiply by 1t so that property is also interesting that if you have got laplace of f of t let's write that once again being equal to f bar s then laplace transform of t power in general formula i am saying saying so everywhere i am replacing s by t so instead of saying saying i am saying taking so this is t power n f of t so uh with whatever power of t you are multiplying and then taking laplace transform the same power of minus 1 to be multiplied and same derivative of with respect to s to be taken of f bar s okay so nth derivative because i multiplied by n so you can clearly say if you multiplied by 1 so first derivative and minus 1 power n so multiply by minus sign and take the first so that's what i think i have to do i have to multiply by 1t of what of 0 to t e power minus t sin t by t so for this much portion i know the laplace transform that will play the role of f bar s for us so minus 1 power 1 because we are multiplying by just 1t t power 1 so that is simply a minus sign and then the first derivative that means simply d by ds of whatever you got uh, for this 
so i got cot inverse s plus 1 divided by s so you have to differentiate that so again we will use the quotient rule which is again simple in quotient rule we square the denominator first because we have recently squared the denominator so give it a rest so while s is resting let's uh, differentiate cot inverse s plus 1 so derivative of cot inverse is minus 1 upon 1 plus whatever is inside cot inverse that square so s plus 1 square minus sign will come and now the rest period of s is over so let's differentiate s with respect to s so that is 1 and because recently you have differentiated cot inverse s plus 1 so give it a rest so that is simply as it is so cot inverse s plus 1 the formula goes this way denominator squared denominator as it is derivative of numerator minus numerator as it is derivative of denominator okay so now let's simplify this a bit so one minus sign as i can see was here also with the whole thing so if i take minus common from both the term that is going to be cancelled with the minus which is outside the bracket so i don't have to think much about the minus sign now just about the simplification i need to think so that is s divided by that is uh, s square s plus 1 whole square is s square plus 2s plus 1 additional one so s square plus 2s Plus two plus cot inverse s plus one divided by s square. Okay, so let's take LCM. So whatever was required, we'll do the write that in the last is coming out to be equal to. uh if i take lcm so i will get something like this s plus cot inverse s plus 1 being multiplied by so let's write that at the beginning that's the that's better because you don't confuse with the argument of cot inverse so this is s Plus s square plus 2s plus 2 multiplied by cot inverse s plus 1 and this whole divided by s square plus 2s plus 2 and in denominator I have s. so i can take this term which is the denominator of the numerator to down so i will get s plus s square plus 2s plus 2 cot inverse divided by s square s square plus 2s plus 2 so you have finally got this which was uh if i generate some space the laplace transform of t multiplied by 0 to t e power minus t sin t divided by t
I think this was only there. Fine. So to revise, first find the Laplace transform of sine t. Then it's your choice. Either apply first shift first, then divide by t. So as I told, you want easy integral to solve. So first apply division by t. Then the first shift that is multiplication by e power t. Then the integral from zero to t where you have to just divide by s. Then multiplication by t where you have to take a derivative of whatever power same order. Power is n, so nth order. Power is one, so first order. Same power of minus one to be multiplied. So power was one minus one power one was multiplied, which is negative one. Then the question two which you studied in uh, your uh, childhood. So that's it. I hope you understood this. Do watch my playlist on Laplace transform as well for more such problems. Do share this question to your friend and challenge him to do the same. So that's it from my side. Thanks and have a nice day.